Larry Warner. Uh, I'm Deputy Director for Fire and Life Safety for the 9-11 Memorial. Uh, I'm retired Captain FDNY. Uh, I was here on 9-11, and thank you all for your service and time and energy you put in uh, to keeping us all safe. Uh, so here in the plaza, for those of you who haven't been here before, the actual towers where the pools are, that's where the towers used to stand, the north and the south pool. The tree line on the outside is 205 feet square. The pools are 195 square. When you pass the tree line, you've actually walked from the original plaza through the uh, building into the building itself. Uh, each of the pool honor the over 2,900 people that were killed here. On the North Pool, other people from Canada Fitzgerald, they lost over 600 people. Uh, two other firms lost over 200 people. The plane they crashed in there, anybody they thought was in the North Tower, their names are there. Plus the people killed in the 1993 bombing, their names are also honored on the North Pool. Uh, on the South Pool are all the first responders, FDNY, NYPD, Port Authority PD, uh, EMS, FBI, uh, the, the warden who was uh, trapped upstairs, went back up to the building to help, he was a retired fireman. Their names are there, the people killed in Pennsylvania, the people who killed in Pentagon are up name, and the other plane that crashed in there. So all their names are on the South Pool. Uh, each of the pools hold a half million gallons of water. It's 30 feet down, another 20 feet down. You can't really see into the bottom. It's supposed to be looking into like an abyss type thing, and then coming back to the circle of life type of thing. So if you artists like it, I don't know if I like it myself, but you have your own opinion when you see it. Uh, it's up to you. Um, so each of the pools pumped 70,000, 35,000 gallons of water beach, a total of 70,000 gallons. The new fireboat, the 343, and on the 343 firefighters that died here that day, uh, pumped 70,000 gallons of water. It pumps in red, white, and blue. It goes up and down the Hudson, so I think that's a little better, but then I'm a retired fireman. I'm a little prejudiced on that particular subject, but this is very spectacular itself. Um, when you step on, I know you're only visiting the, uh, the plaza today, uh, but the pool's actually, uh, you're actually standing on the museum. The museum's actually uh, 80 feet down. So when you go on there, you're actually standing on a rain roof, okay? And right below you is the museum, which tells the whole story of 9-11. Uh, also in the center, if you can walk around the far side, there's a tree that was uh, buried by the, the, uh, the first collapse of the North Tower. Uh, it was found about a month or two later by construction workers and firemen. Uh, they took the tree up, they took it up to the Bronx. They spent 10 years in the Bronx. I'm told, the rumor is it was struck by lightning two times. A lot of people like touch for luck. I personally stay as far away from it as I can. A couple of buildings, up in the Bronx for 10 years. Lightning, I don't know if I'd want to touch it, but anybody like to touch it for luck. Uh, uh, World Trade Center 1 is now open for business. Uh, it's the height is 1776, July 4th, 1776, so that's the height of that. It's now the second, it's the largest structure, but the second tallest building, because the other one uptown just uh, surpassed it. Uh, Tower 4, which is standing for now, is also open. Uh, for a while, uh, about two months now. Uh, it's 77 stories. The two other towers, two and three, are going to be built. Three of the building, uh, it's going to be 88, and Tower 2 is going to be 92. So it's kind of like a spiral effect. And Tower 7 has been open for about seven years. That fell about 5 o'clock in the afternoon that day. That's been open for a couple of years. Um, that's all I have. Any questions? I guess the, uh, the Patty Brown name goes a long way. All yeah. great guys. Yeah, you know, right. sacrifices. We were just down there. Oh, yeah.
tell you, first of all, the food was fantastic and all the guys coming out to give us. Um, I think a special touch, uh, this station definitely knows how to do it right. Uh, if you notice, they have that nice big tree. I won't say where they got it from. Um, <laughs> But as they were coming in, they let all of us uh, put a little something on the tree and uh, help them decorate it. But um, I really feel out for them, um, considering uh, all the service members, at least my, my fellow Marines that I've lost in combat. And having come from there, I know how hard it is uh, to get over that and come every day to work and still push and support the people here in New York. And I'll tell you, it's a top-notch uh, station. So I appreciate everything they do out here, and thanks for your service. And today you have uh, the retired... Uh, senior guys who have been hosting you guys all weekend, you have your, your senior guy at the house who did your cooking, and you have all the junior guys that have just come onto this job who are learning for themselves the tradition of what it means to, to host and to, and to pass on the traditions of the fire farm. We couldn't be more honored and humbled to have you guys come and, and, and visit with us, and we're truly appreciative and thankful for everything you've done for us and for our country. Thank you. Thank you. to see you. Thank you so much for everything you're doing for us, all right? I appreciate it. Thank you. How's everybody here? Okay? Oh, why? Oh, that is special. Thank you so much. My name is Chaz Thompson. I'm the fire commissioner and ex-chief of the Point Lookout Lido Fire Department. We'd like to welcome all the wounded warriors and soldiers down to the Point Lookout Lido community. We really, really care about you guys. We thank you for the job you do, both in the United States and overseas. You, you provide us with the liberties that we have. Um, I'd like to thank the Waterfront Warriors working with our fire department, everybody who put this together.
thank you for everything you've done for us, all right? Thank Your you service and everything, okay? Thank you. Thank you.